Hello and thank you for tuning in to Virtue Living. On the screen here, uh, there are two giant moths. Um, both of them were caught by one of our sons and uh, he came to show them with us. I'm gonna share the video clip with you in just a moment. It was actually brought to my remembrance uh, that we had this video clip uh, when one of our viewers shared with us um, a clip or a video that he had found. And um, in the video, it was a, a woman who um, actually rescued a giant moth and it entrusted her with its babies. And I thought that was really sweet. It was really cute. The moth was adorable, by the way. Um, it's not like the little small moths that are just like a uh, little pest to you. These are really big and they, they're furry looking and they're cute. And so um, our son shared these with us and so we wanted to share them with you with you all as well. So stay tuned for this clip and I will be right back with you. Okay, so those moths are absolutely adorable. They are so adorable. They were really big too. I don't think they were quite as big as the video that was shared with us, uh, but nonetheless, they were big and they were very beautiful. Um, I love uh, the creatures that our Creator has um, blessed the earth with. Uh, they, they just seem to live and just be happy until humans, um, of course, interrupt their lives in many cases, like in this situation. Um, my son, he did set them free, okay? He did set them free, so he wasn't trying to keep them as pets or anything like that, so, um, but nonetheless, their lives were interrupted for that moment. Who knows where they were and what they were doing before he captured them um, in this container, but he did set them free. Um, as a matter of fact, he was on his way over to his papa's workshop um, when um, I was videoing him, uh, so... Uh, that is that. I wanted to share this with you all because it was it kind of jogged my memory uh, when someone shared a clip of giant moss with us. Um, anyway, got to get back to work. Thank you all for tuning in to Virtue Living. Uh, see you next time.